to this employment fair. On behalf of Joe, I want to extend his personal thanks for each and every one of you for being here. And I found this, before we kick it off, I just, I found this quote that I thought was very fitting today um, from a renowned occupational therapist. It says, for autistic individuals to succeed in this world, they need to find their strengths and the people that will help them get to their hopes and dreams. In order to do so, ability to make and keep friends is a must. Amongst those friends, there must be mentors that show them a way. A supportive environment where they can learn is what we as a society need to create for them. So uh, on behalf of Joe, I just want to thank you guys for choosing to be here and to be for being both mentors and friends. Thank you. Lawana Jones and I'm the founder and executive director of the Autism Council of Rochester and this is our third annual job fair here at the Memorial Art Gallery. Uh, we've got about 18 companies that have showed up today that are looking to hire people with autism or Asperger's and um, the rate at which people are actually getting a job. Last year we had three people um, that came through and were actually able to get a job. We, we had two folks that had volunteer opportunities, so we are getting some placement. Uh, just the fact that employers are here really is exciting in it because it tells me that they want to hire a diverse workforce. Um, and people with autism and Asperger's are wonderful employees, very dedicated, and so I'm excited about our event today. When the employees may hire an autistic employee, how long does the employee usually last? I'm not certain. I haven't gotten the feedback yet. I can go back. Like I said, this is our third year. I'd have to go back and touch base with our employers to find out what the rate of retention is. Um, I think they know, the employers know, that they can always reach out to the Autism Council if they need support with regards to helping the individuals stay employed at their uh, place of employment. So, like I said, I'm excited about the event today. And you do, have, you do offer job coaching too, right? We do, we, we do. We also offer uh, resume writing, um, interviewing practice, and we've got relationships with employers even after today's job fair. I mean, people can reach out to us if they're looking for, for job placement. And do you, work, do, you, do you work with the Rochester for Work? We do not. So what we're considered a specialized job fair, job placement, and so we do not work with Rochester Works. They are very supportive of what we do but they're not able to, because we, we specialize with people with autism and Asperger's versus them, they have they provide general employment. Got it. So they work with more general job fairs. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. And Senator Robach helped help you, right? So Senator Robach was one of our sponsors today. He actually is a, a great advocate for people in our community with disabilities, all disabilities. And so yes, we're excited to have him sponsor the, the event what do you today. Mean? I'm sorry? He's an advocate. What do you mean? Like he's he funded it? He actually sponsored the event today. He provided the funding for the ballroom, um, the cost of the ballroom. So they don't give us the ballroom for free. For free. There is a cost. And so he did um, give us the funding to get the ball, reserve the ballroom today. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you want me to know? Um, I encourage every year, so we do this event every year, every April, since April is Autism Awareness Month, and so I would encourage folks to continue to look on our website. We do this annually, and we'll do it again next year, and we hope to get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is my first year at this job fair, this job and volunteer recruitment fair. The people who have come to interview, how qualified have most of them been? Um, the people who have stopped here at my table yeah. um, have been interested in a, a range of opportunities. Uh, one individual looked to be very qualified to work in graphics and um, that sort of work. And um, I've had a very enthusiastic uh, young lady who is interested in working with the elderly and, and helping out with senior citizens. So. That's what we do. We take care of senior citizens. Cool. How, did, how did your hiring process work if someone comes into the job they're interested? They would complete an application, um, usually an online application, but we do have paper applications if they stopped in and wanted to pick one up. And they would complete that application and it would be reviewed by our human resources director. And then she would determine if there was a, a good 
possibility for that person to come to the Maplewood to work. We also offer the opportunity at the Maplewood to try out a position um, if an individual has a job coach already, someone that they work with, um, to come along with them, they can try out different opportunities uh, to see if it's uh, something they'd really like to do. Well, we also offer volunteering opportunities at the Maplewood, helping out with create, making craft projects, playing games, um, taking people to the activities by pushing their wheelchairs um, so that they can get there and enjoy the opportunities that we have to enjoy. How would one to go about becoming a volunteer? Same way applying? Yes, actually. We have an online application as well as paper applications that can be completed. I even brought some along today uh, that could be completed right here at the job fair volunteer fair. Well, thank you for coming over and talking to us. Uh, we're certainly happy to be here. The Radicoy Police Department has worked hand in hand with Luana Jones from the Autism Council of Rochester. And this is our second year here at the Autism Job Fair, which we're very excited to be here and kind of share different opportunities and experiences that we can give to other people as well. Um, we have several events coming up that you'll see. I got some different flyers here, um, but we have a we're going to participate in the 5K coming up this weekend, as well as we have the following weekend on April 28th, we're going to be hosting an Autism Awareness Family Day at the Rhinocoit Police Department, where we're going to have multiple different agencies and organizations. The Autism Council of Rochester will be there, um, our fire departments, local fire departments, we're going to have the 911 Center. Lots of different agencies are going to come together to really share and support people that are on the spectrum, their families, and share information and give information to, you know, obviously make everybody more included and um, make their lives easier, right? So we always want to improve ourselves and, and do the best that we can do and give. So um, for IPD, part of that is in our training, and we've worked with the Autism Council of Rochester and other agencies as well to, to improve our training and, and get all of our officers trained with autism awareness. We have cards that we carry, which help us with different responses. Um, if we recognize that somebody's either on the spectrum going into that situation or ahead of time, if we know that ahead of time, or if we have that information maybe into it that we learn that. Um, so it's just different cues that we can look for because at the end of the day, our goal is to make everybody safe. Whether you're on the spectrum or you're not on the spectrum or you have a family member on the spectrum, we want to make everybody safe. We want to make everybody feel um, included and secure and comfortable with calling the police. So we're happy to be here. We're happy to continue our training and, and to offer the events that we have at, at IPD as well. Do you hire people on the spectrum? So to, right now, a lot of our jobs are civil service. So right now, I don't know of anybody that's um, like pay, a paid position, but we do have volunteers that are on the spectrum. So we have, that's a great question. So we have one of our volunteers is, is on the autism spectrum. He actually started out as an intern several years ago, came back and every Friday he's with us. He volunteers his time and he helps us out um, at the police department, coming in for a few hours and, and doing different tasks that we need and, and helping us that way. We have another um, individual who we actually met last year at the, at the job fair here and he's been great because he comes out and he actually takes pictures for some of our social media at different events that we have or host. So he's been like, he's been phenomenal as well. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. All right, and thank how you. Better, how, how better than autistic volunteers as employees or as volunteers, you think? How good are they as workers? They're awesome. I've got no complaints. No, they're awesome. I, I mean, really the... So the, the two individuals that I have that I've directly worked with at IPD that have been on the spectrum, I mean, there's, there's, they do great quality work. I mean, I have no complaints. Um, they come in all the time, on time. I mean, it's, it's no different being on the spectrum or, or not on the spectrum. I mean, they're, they're great workers.